in my life I've never seen melanin so dark You're a queen of the dance floor Night for your light when I rub it in, baby Would you put me in your diet in my life I've never seen Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel um, For those of you guys who are new, my name is Elsie um, thank you for tuning in to my um, channel uh, so today uh, I know it's been a while but um, today I want to do like a video um, uh, get to know me like just answering some questions about myself you know get to know your girl yeah, so you know if I mean maybe we like the same things maybe there's similarities maybe there will be something about me that you don't like so it's okay though we're still going vibe um so let me get into the video um so the first question is what's your full name and are you proud of it my full name is Elsie Jean Baptiste um and I'm proud of it like I'm proud of my first name just because like usually people tell me um your name is so unique and i also say always say it's lc with a c and not an s because like most lcs are like um an s written and i'm like yeah my name is written with a c like i can tell you like um lc if you don't wanna you know like some people call me elise i'm like where did you get elise from lc so just lc okay lc jean baptiste um, I'm proud of my name. I like it. Um, where are you from and are you proud of it? I'm from Haiti, for those of you guys who don't know already. Um, Haiti, chérie, je t'aime pour toujours. But um, I'm from Haiti and I'm forever proud of it. Um, no matter the circumstances, no matter the bad sides of my country, um, I love it. It's it's made me who I am. It's helped me to value things in a certain way and to give me hope for a greater future. So, yeah, I'm proud of, of my baby, Haiti. Um, third question. How many children do you want to have? So, I would like, I would prefer to have like three children, but like maximum four, God, like... Please, like, I don't think we should go past four. It's just, yeah, more than four, I think it's a bit too much. But hopefully three. Um, I really want twin daughters and um, a son. So, like, if, the, if it just came like that, I'd be, like, not three babies at once. Like, if I could have twin daughters and then a son, preferably the son first. Anyways, three kids, four maximum. Um... Old school rap or new age? I definitely prefer old school for the lyrics and probably new age for the beats. Cause you know, new age have some sick beats. They're like for real though, like they do. They have some sick beats. But like what they be saying though? My nigga, my nigga. Like what? That's all they be saying like seriously. But like you know, old old times like i feel like they used to know you know what they were saying they had something meaningful to say now though they're talking about is cars monies booties and yeah the worthless meaningless things yeah so new age beats old school lyrics um how tall are you and do you dream of being taller I'm like 5'4 and I once dreamt of being taller because I missed out on an opportunity to like join um, like this modeling like uh, what was it like retreat or whatever that was happening and stuff um, like I just missed out on a huge opportunity because I was two inches too short they were like if only you were two inches taller you'd be perfect because we like your walk but yeah, although your pictures deceive us, your pictures make you look like you're so much taller, but you're short. And I was like, God, why? But you know, I'm okay. Like, I'm okay now. I'm satisfied with it now. I've made peace with it. It's okay. It's okay. Um, where do you want to travel? 
Um, I really want to, uh, like, you know, explore the African continent. Like, I want to get to know, like, some of these beautiful, beautiful countries, you know, their beaches. Um, I also, I honestly, I want to travel Haiti. Like, I know it probably sounds like I'm from Haiti and I want to travel, but I want to travel my own country because I only know where I came from, like, the little hole where I came from. Like, no, like, you know, like, just the little area that I came from, that was all, you know, and then we traveled here and then, you know, but I need to get my own country because there's so many places in Haiti that's so beautiful that I haven't seen. So I want to travel my own country as well. And Caribbean, I want to, like, just honestly all over the world. Wherever God sends me, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Um, describe yourself in three I think I would say that I am a very loving person. Um, I'm loving. I'm also very motherly. We're not gonna talk about that today. Like we're not gonna go into details, but yeah, that that's a word that defines me. And hmm. Third word, loving, motherly, and uh, this one. I don't know. What's the third word? I'm also very like committed. Yeah, committed. If I commit myself to do something, like most of the time I remain like consistent. Committed, loving, and motherly. Um, what is the most important thing in your life? Uh, the most important thing in my life, I would definitely say, is my walk with God. Like, me knowing Christ. Because, in a way, like, not in a way, honestly, like, that defines me. That is who I am. That is the essence of me. So that's the most important thing of my life. Um... My favorite color. My favorite color is blue. I love different shades of blue. But like, yeah. And the, the weird thing is, even though that's my favorite color, like, I don't wear a lot of blue. It's mostly like in my, the things I own, like, you know, my bed sheets maybe, like, like little decoration, like my bathroom, I like to have like blue shades, like I, I like to... Yeah, like my, even my bed right now, like under my duvet, there's like a, a blue sheet. Like, I like home. Like, I like, I like blue, but it's, I don't wear it a lot, so you won't even know that it's my favorite color. Um, favorite time of the day. My favorite time of the day is right before the sun goes down, and there's just that perfect light for that perfect selfie, like that golden sun like have you experienced it if you have it like catch it catch it next time like don't let it go by without taking that great perfect selfie that just make you shine like your gold anyways like melanin skin and the gold is just in in, in the sun it's just it, it makes magic happen so that's my favorite time of the day um my favorite candle scent i really love um vanilla and like cocoa scented like um candles um like for anyone who goes to like bath and body works like i love their like uh wallflowers and things like for your room to smell so good i love it in vanilla and like the coke like coconut scent oh actually i have like uh, a candle right here um, hot cocoa and like cream um, I don't know if you guys can see it properly but like uh, yeah I love that scent it's so like like it smells like it smells like it's like if it was edible like I just eat it it just smells so good but yeah I really love hot cocoa and cream can um, scented candles and vanilla um, the next question is what was your favorite subject in high school? 
my favorite subject was like this fashion course that I took. Um, like it was so weird because I was like I didn't know there was fashion courses in high school, but there was at my school, and I I really loved. I connected with the professor of that course. Like she was so sweet. Like she was my like buddy. Like. And we had the same birthday like when I told her we had the same birthday she was just like oh my gosh like I loved her like honestly she was so beautiful um, are you high maintenance that's a question but I'm not high maintenance I feel like that that like the way the question is shouldn't be I, I have great standards like my standards are not low but my standards are not like expecting the greatest greatest like of things or of people like but you do have to have standards you can't just be like oh i expect anybody to walk into my life and do whatever like i'm not high maintenance in the sense that like every little thing you so uh, 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 about it but at the same time i know my value i know my worth so i'm not gonna sell myself short either Pet peeves. Let me take a deep breath. I feel like I have too many pet peeves, so like maybe I should just skip that question. Ah, your girl got issues. Like Jesus actually needs to work on me because <laughs> because I have things bother me. No, like it sounds like I'm like this. No, but things bother me. Let me okay. Let me give you guys a couple. It bothers me so much when people wash the dishes and leave it upward, like upside up. Like wait a second. So you gonna wash the dish, and the purpose of you washing the dish for it to dry up is for the water to come out of it, right? Correct. Like if I'm incorrect, and it, you can correct me, but you sit it upright so that the water can sit in it I just I, I personally just don't understand the logic behind it I believe that when you wash the dish it should go upside down so that the water can be drained okay you see I, I just okay I'm, I'm getting myself back together dishes washed left upright it's, I, it gets to me like it, it's just it hits me somewhere. It hits me somewhere and I can't deal with it. Okay, another one is this organization. Like this organization is such a pet peeve of mine, but I feel like it's with me. Like it's, it's like if I go to your house and your house is disorganized, like you, that's you, you know what I mean? But like, I feel like with me, like, if I put something somewhere, like, and if you remove it, just put it the, the way you found it, put it back in place. And like, if I like to know where things are, and I like to, like, I like, like, even my mess is organized. Like, even if I, my place is messed up, I know where things are. And I, I my, like, a huge pet peeve of mine is this organization. Like, it gives me a headache. It, 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 it makes me scringe, it, 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 it's, it doesn't work with me, like, anyways, yeah, I don't know if some of you guys relate, but this organization is really a pet peeve of mine, I, I don't like it, me and it, we're not friends, anyways, next question, are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage it? I'm an, I'm a conflict engager. I don't even know if endanger is a word, but I am. I like to confront things. I like to confront things just because I don't, especially if you're my friend and I feel like attention, I feel like some like there's something wrong. I'm gonna we're gonna talk about it, child. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it because if you're my friend and I wanna make sure that our friendship stay intact. I'm going to talk about what's going on. I'm not going to let it. Because I'm the kind of person, if I'm holding something in my heart, 
you go see it on my face. Like it's not even at this point. It's, I'm not even holding it in my on my heart. It's it's on my face. It's all over me. It's on my tone. The way I'm gonna be speaking to you. So I have to talk to you about it. We have to fix it so that we can move on with our lives. I like to like engage things, solve them, and move on. Yeah, that's me. Um, are you a good cook? I like to think I am. I mean, maybe you need to taste my food. And then you can decide because I know people have different like taste buds but I personally think I'm a good cook because if I'm gonna be eating something like it might as well taste good like why am I gonna make myself something that doesn't taste good I believe I'm a good cook I believe that God has blessed my hands to make good food so I'm gonna make good food and I'm gonna eat good food in Jesus name amen that was a prayer anyways <laughs> um what aspect of your life needs tremendous improvement? Child, I need, I need help. Like, like help pray for me, help me pray. I don't know. Like, but your girl needs to really get over procrastination. No, your girl needs help. Like. We need to not, but it's only, with, the funny thing is, it's only with my schoolwork. Like, I don't know if it's, if other people are like that, like you don't procrastinate with other things in life, but you procrastinate with your education. Like, you know, the paper, it's okay. Like 12 pages, no, we can do it in one, no, we can't, we can do it in one night. Like, what are you talking about? But no, I, then I get stressed and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, what do I need to write, research? No, I procrastinate too, way too much with schoolwork and I need to improve in that area of my life because this can continue on. Because even though it, I only do it with my school, if I'm doing it with my school, that means it, like I can allow it to seep into like other areas of my life. So we need to cut it, cut it, cut it. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna calm down right there. Um, do you remember your dreams? I do remember my dreams. I remember most, like majority of my dreams I remember. <clears throat> if I don't, if I'm not remembering something, I don't even bother like trying to because I know that when God speaks to me, like when God speaks to me through my dreams, I'm gonna remember it. Like it's gonna, whatever it was important in that dream, like I'm gonna remember it. So I, I honestly, I could be, I could sleep for 30 minutes in our dream. Like, I don't know, like I'm a dreamer. It's like 15 minute nap. Like I wake up and I tell you, I tell you a whole dream. Like, yeah, I dream, I dream and I, I, I mostly remember my dreams, so yeah. Do you save old greeting cards and letters or throw them? I'm a preserver. Maybe I'm an over preserver. Cause I be preserving things like you be giving me a sticky note with a message and I'll be like, it be in my house for five years. It be in like a little box of memories somewhere. When I'm moving, I'll be like, oh my gosh, this person said that, did that, wrote that. No, I, I, I literally, I, I save things. Like birthday cards, Christmas cards, like it's somewhere in my house. It's somewhere. I'm learning to actually like, there's things that shouldn't, last as long as I make them last so I'm learning to know what to keep and what not to keep we're working on it but I if it's important if it's precious to me it's gonna be in my house I feel like I got that from my mom my mom would like preserves everything like, like what like she preserves things she'll still be saving things I feel like yeah I do that a lot um how difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refused to apologize? Um, I feel like once upon a time, like it was like really difficult for me. Like it was hard. I was like, so isn't forgiveness supposed to come with apologizing? Like, but I've learned that forgiving people is not even for the person. It's for me. So whether you want to apologize to me or not. I'm gonna forgive you because when I forgive you, I'm free. So, yeah, like forgiveness is it, it, it helps.
the person who needs to forgive the other person it's like it, it, it has nothing to do even do with the other person like if, if you're holding that unforgiveness it's only you're gonna be the only one who's holding that ache inside of you and it's eating you inside so we're gonna release it whether you apologize to me or not i forgive you my darling all is good i'm good amen um how have you forgiven yourself for past personal failures? Why or why not? Um, I've forgiven myself as well. I've forgiven myself for like mistakes I made, decisions I made, like you know, like that's a whole other conversation. I've but I've forgiven myself for these things because I had to go through them. I, look, I had to go through them. I had to be taught the, the lessons I was taught through the mistakes I made, through the bad decisions I made. I, I, I learned a lesson from them and I don't regret it because it's now showing me what, what not to do and what to do. Like it's I'm taking those things as a lesson and moving forward. So I forgive you, little girl. I forgive you. Like I forgive the places where I was so naive and just anyways yeah I forgive myself because I need to move forward um, if you could change one thing um, about the world what would it be if I could change one thing I would change poverty and I know poverty so is connected to like a thousand million things we're not about to do a lecture today but I'll change poverty like I've, a lot of things are connected to people suffering and people going through a cycle of like suffering or an inability to like care for themselves and push their children forward and it's just it's a cycle of suffering that, that keeps repeating in poverty so if I could change that uh, that's what I would change. Yeah. Um, last question. Are you more inclined to build your own empire or unleash the potential of others? Both. Both. Like, by both, like, I mean, I want to build my empire, but the empire that I'm building is to unleash other people. So like my empire won't like it won't it won't be it won't surround me like it won't be all about me even though I'm building it even though like God is building it through me it's not gonna be for me myself and I it's gonna be for others so in a way like I just see a combination of the two I don't see them being separate um so that's all the questions I'm going to answer today and if you guys have any other questions anything else you want to know about me please feel free to like drop it in the comment maybe i'll do like a second part of like questions maybe something that goes even deeper um but yeah um if you like the video please comment and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um and i'll do my best to bless you with some you know fresh new videos um and um don't forget to like so it was really good talking to you guys about myself telling you guys a little bit more about me hopefully you guys got to know me a little bit more um like i said again please drop more questions and i'll do my best to answer them and i'll be back with some more videos soon thank you for watching Mwah.